Kate's plan, as you could probably have seen by the time lapse if you know roughly what this area is, we tried to go to Western Burt, which is like a, I guess it is it a bit like a tree sanctuary. It's basically yeah. where lots of different types of trees are and everything, but apparently you had to get tickets. You probably saw that in the time lapse, but we ended up not going there, hence why the abruption of the time lapse ending, and we've now come to Tetbury, which was on the way to walk around Tetbury for a bit, I don't know. But I'm going to go for a little bit of an explore in Tetbury, just so we don't waste the day. So the place we parked is called the Old... It's actually an old, the old train yard car park. For evidence and proof, this is a car park. And that is obviously the old train yard building. Oh look, there's a train. And there's like a carriage over there which Morgan's just spotted. And then you can still see like the rails. And like where I parked was like next to like an old rail system. So you can see like in between this um, I go and this focus. You can see like a little bit of a rail, which is kind of cool. And then they're everywhere, look. You can see where it used to like crisscross and go in there. And then the old train carriage is actually a kind of like cool, uh, you know, like people turn like carriages into like houses and stuff. I don't really know if I'm making sense, but this one's been turned into a little cute cafe, I guess. But it'll probably be closed at this time of the that time of the year and during the time of whatever house go before is going on in the world right now. But it's a cafe, but I'll try and get it all in frame. There we go. It is quite cool to look at and see. Mary Jane. Here's the front of this train yard building. I guess they've turned it into like an art store. But it says the Shed Art, well Shed Arts on it. It's closed at the moment. Morgan's just found a bike with her um, work's name on it. Hey look, you can see us. So it's the Tetbury Goods Sheds Centre. Ooh, I that closed. Means that they've got a Breakspear place in Tetbury. They might do. It's bent. So there's a little map here showing the spotted, which shows you all the way around Tetbury. We're just going to walk into the centre and just wander around for a bit, really. Um, not really sure what there is here. Um, we live quite close, but I've never, I've never actually driven it out this far before. So be interesting to see what there is to see. We've walked there, we've walked down the path and I've, we've stumbled across, I've, we've stumbled across an old turntable and you can still see where all the, the tracks used to be, like where it all used to like split off. It obviously doesn't spin anymore but it is still cool to look at. What did it used to spin? Well it's a turntable isn't it? It's like one would have gone that way and then that way and then that way, off in these directions. Which is cool. It actually, you know, like when you like go up to a train yeah. and you like smell like a steam engine, like it smells like that here, so which is weird. Still smells like what it would when it was still operate like operational and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. It's cool that like either that or they like change the rails and you know it's just, it's just smell like rails basically. Mini little Sean the Sheep here from the film, from the TV show. Read a bit of the information. You can't ride him. It says something about Sean the Sheep being in, in Bristol or something. Oh, maybe he was in Bristol. Maybe he was in the film or something in Bristol. He does look pretty cool though. It's much, much, much later now. We've gone out of the town centre of Tetbury. We're now walking down a canal kind of I think we I don't know bloody hell what this thing is but there's a sign here that will obviously tell us where we are the rails we're down the rails pause it if you want to pause it pause it if you don't you can read it I'll probably look back and read that that's not it's like a community tile pavement marks it marks the station building where the station used to be Did it? yeah so that thing that I said in the that's the yard, the goods shed, where they keep all the goods, the good good. <laughs> Basically the thing I said was the turntable is actually the actual station, or where the station building used to be. We well, basically, literally, we tried to go to the Western uh, Albatorium, I can't really speak English very well, 
even though I've spoken English all my life. Right. But I just can't pronounce stuff, basically. But basically, we tried to go there, had to get a ticket, which... Now, I phoned my mum, okay, because my mum obviously has lived around here longer than I have. And I went there as a kid, as is Morgan. Morgan went there as a kid as well. What? At, to the, to the place. And it used to be free, but you had to pay for parking. And normally, it's £8.50 per adult. I mean, Morgan counts as adults because we're over the age of 18. Blah, blah, blah. Normally, it's £8.50. It's £11 each now because of because of the lockdown. Literally, because of the lockdown. It's £8.50. No, not £8.50. £11. So, if it was me and Morgan going, it's 22 quid to go. And, and, and even worse, it's a slot. So you only have 40 minutes to walk around. I've been on this walk for almost an hour and I haven't paid a single penny. Well, apart from the shopping, which my lovely girlfriend here paid for. What? But, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, is that if you're going with your family, like your mum, your dad, and you're over the age of 18, be willing to spend 33 quid. And plus the... Plus, plus, if you are fro like five and up, so if you're over the age of five, it's eight pound for your ticket. Yeah. And if you're a student, it's like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. So it's eight pound for a kid to a teenager, but it's seven pound fifty for a student. Basically, you just don't go there until the you know the lockdown's over because yeah, it'll be way cheaper. Yeah. That's just my advice. <laughs> Thing. I remember going there with my mum years ago and we just walked around there for the whole day. Yeah, it's more of a day trip kind of thing, but th th there's so much of it that you can't see everything in 40 minutes. They might just have like a direct route round. Maybe. It'd be like it'd be like going into Tesco. Like with a like little you know, like stand <laughs> two metres apart. What? So like you go into the woods and then there's like those two metre things. Yeah. Like tape just all over the floor. No. That would just ruin the experience. Yeah, this is quite nice. Walking along this path down the, I think it's called the rail, the railway trail or something like that. There's a bunch of these like workout kind of machines. There's tons. I've forgotten to film loads, and they give you little exercises to do on the equipment provided, which is really cool. It's to do like those. You bend your, you sit back to it and then put your um your, your wrists on it. Do the Spider-Man thing. This doesn't make any sense, but there's loads. There's a bit up further here as well, but it's a nice little kind of walk through the woods. We probably walk down here for like 20 minutes or so, and then probably walk back because it doesn't really loop or go anywhere. It just goes in a big straight line. In fact, people are just like going to the end and then coming back. I'm pretty sure. So we might actually be able to walk to the end. Well, I'll try and show you more of those like workout things. Me and Morgan can safely say that we've walked pretty much all the way up this Tepri Trail. This is, I don't know, halfway. But we're gonna head back. Where does this go? That goes all the way to like Coates, I reckon. We don't want to go to coats, that's for sure. So me and Morgan can safely say we've walked part of the Tepri Trail and then we're going to head back because we don't want to go down there because the car is behind us. There's a sign down there though. Wait, we're going to head back this way too. Okay, so we finished up our little walk which does mean it's the end of the vlog. And a little time that's on the way home and then that is it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I didn't film much on the way back because there's just the same stuff that we filmed on the way here. So it's a little bit pointless, but here's the car park. But I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I know 